Well, what a sight it is here. Great crowd in. It is warm, but it's a magnificent day, and uh, the spirits are high. Looking forward to this grand final. What a football team it is. The back line is as good as any. We've said Malone and Marshall in the centre, they're very good players. Lewis and Lacey, the two L's there in the halves, they'll play a key role. If you reckon defence wins uh, grand finals, that's where the defence starts in the forwards. That is as good a forward pack as anyone's got. It's a good football team they put on the park. Gav, who's their strengths? Yeah, look, I was very impressed with Lewis Balcom last week uh, playing on the left-hand side. Very good footballer. Phil Dennis coming off the bench added some spark when he went off from dummy half in the second half as well. And we're underway here. Queensland Cup 2008 begins. Josh Lewis hands it off. And immediately... The He's hostilities begin. Sweeney has a uh, big shoulder charge. We saw plenty of those uh, last night in the Broncos match against the Roosters. They have a uh, very fast speed of line. Telepo goes for one. Puts a pass at the car. He's in. Running from outside in. Beautiful angle. Face ball to a couple of players just close to the ruck and found Cannard in a gap. But running that slight angle from outside in caught the defence well and truly uh, unawares. And gas out too on a very hot day. Gibson out of dummy half. Tries to steal a try. Did he lose it? Well, we're going to go to the video. He certainly got over the try line and ultimately uh, the, the ball ended up on the ground. Looks like he's going to get it down from there. And did. That's, uh, that's a fair try, I'd say. He stole out of dummy half and had to lurch forward. He's got possession there. That's downward pressure. Not a problem. They've got back-to-back -back tries, the underdogs. And South Logan Magpies. Oh, thank you. Could well have well they've got an eight point lead uh, gavin they might now go to ten well what a game it is tap so they've been rewarded now canard he hooks it again but this time it's through he converts the try and what a start for the magpies what an incredible start with two tries they lead 10 nil paul bramley they're giving uh, instructions and uh, gav good effort to get this down in the end look he's done very well very strong work there another aim and warren went for a bike ride this morning and a magpie Bomb dive me. <laughs> Goodness, I had my helmet on. Ryan keeps it going to the left. Longer ball to Lacey. Lacey sweeps onto it. Malone inside ball. Linguadoc is through. Linguadoc for the line. And Linguadoc, I think, has got there. I'm going to go to the video to be sure. They love this play. If you saw our highlight package before the game, you saw Lacey put it back on the inside to Linguadoc. Tachi did step into the end goal. Let's have a look. They're going to have a Tony Maxford, another close look. Is there any separation? Well, my point, David, is that he hasn't knocked it forward. He's knocked it back, and he has grounded it. So, as far as I'm concerned, as much as he may have been losing the ball, I don't know that it's a knock-on. A try. It looks like a try. We've got a rule that says benefit of the doubt. No, no. Knock on. All right. Knock on. No control. So, they haven't been on the top of their game at the finish of sets, and early on, they simply didn't have any sets. Talapo. Wasn't deciding whether to run on. No one ran up to him, but he was uh, brought down. Was he tripped? No. Play on. Oh, the intercept. intercept! Intercept this time by Templeman. Matthew Templeman goes for the corner and scores it. Well, I was just going to say 10 0 is not panic stations. 14 is just tottering on that. Intercept try, and the, uh, the South Logan boys have taken every chance that's come their way and some. Here's the amazing uh, lead-up to that, Warren. The grubber kick through there by Telepo. There's the pass by uh, um, it Lacey. Was Lacey. And Templeman intercepts. You just start pushing passes when you're 10-0 down. You start playing different. Well, if, uh, if they were setting an even market odds. He's bringing Pretty it good around. kick, this one. He's got it. From a, uh, the toughest position on the field for a right-foot kicker. Well, this has put the... Uh, the cat amongst the pigeons. Take them out all together myself. I'd go for the points. And uh, almost put it uh, beyond doubt. But they're going to go for their uh, two points. They've got to stay confident. Right. Moves into it. He's got it inside the upright this time. And it is 18-0 to South Slogan. Yes, 18-0. Over the minor premiers. Yeah, sensational uh, scoreline there at half time. It ain't over yet. Could be it's uh, magpie season. And that's, uh, that's a fact. 
Kentucky standing in for Magpies coach Paul Bramley. They're close here. Switch are in. The Jets have scored. Michael Ryan has scurried in for a very important try. They've had plenty of ball early in the second half and dip switch are over. A try they really needed and they're back in the game. Yeah, defenders over, over Reddit and Michael Ryan will always take advantage. It's credit he did. He provided the opportunity for this. The, uh, the converted try and the Jets... That will make a huge difference to them psychologically. 18-6. And boys, not only is the Jets back into it, but aren't the crowd back into the game? They're going bananas. <laughs> yeah. and steps away, but getting close to the sideline. Lost Drops it. it inside. It's a penalty to Ipswich. And a punch-up oh, between punch the two centers. It's Malone, or Malone and, Lodge. and Lodge. Three on three. Well, it's more than three on three now. Although, fortunately, common sense has prevailed here. If uh, Sullivan could have kept going there, it could have been trouble. They went down a blind side to Lacey. Little grubber kick. It's been uh, played out. Play on. Play on. Over the line. Held up or down. I think he might have it down. Try. There's a lot of hands in the air as it bounces oh, up high, thinking. too. Let's have a look at this. Oh, were they in front of the kicker? Number three. I think he was. Well, I don't know, David. From that angle, difficult to tell. Oh. But I might go back to whether he was on side. They're not going to go back to that at the moment. A lot of attention there and control. I think this is a try, but I, I still would have gone back okay. to the offside. Try. He's going to award the try. Here is it. Here come the Jets. It's a huge call. Big decision by the video ref. Donald Malone has scored after Lacey put the kick in from left to right across it. Now the flags are hanging still. He's, but he's oh, sliced he's it back it. the other way. He sliced he's it. Sliced it. That's incredible, you can't do that. Well, they watched it from right to left. Themselves inside, South Logan half again. A good pass to Sweeney. Sweeney goes up. Sweeney's still going. Sweeney has scored. Ipswich scored two quick tries. An incredible try. Sweeney racing onto a pass from Ian Lacey has gone all the way. No one would have... Lewis, can he level the scores? Right in front of the posts. Josh Lewis... Kicks this one, makes the last conversion look very, very handy as well. It's 18 points all in the grand final. Five metres out, fifth tackle. Lalu Tonga guy still going. Lalu Tonga guy flicks it out. Chance on the wing for Templeman. Can't get it down. Okay. What a football left in this. Aaron Sweeney. Straight through Sweeney, the big throw. Has got a bit of pace as well. Lacey stretching out there like Lacey was trying to work out what to do and Cannon decided for him. Lewis. Decides to put the kick high on the fifth tackle. Everyone's on side, under it. No one went for it. Chance here. Oh, Ligwood up. Couldn't get a hold of it. This one. Well, uh, will they have a shot at it? it? They're not setting for it. Eh? Oh, yes, they are. Back cross. Charge down. Play on. Off Bugarelli. Six to go, though. That could win it for them. Moylan still on halfway. Oh, Bugarelli, that's the injustice of the charge down. Gibson. Gibson. They're just outside the 20 now. They can go for it now if they want to. Dennis gives it to Talapau. It's Joyce now. Joyce stays close to the post. Who's in behind? Cross, cross again. Cross, cross is back there. Talapau goes himself. Down the right hand side. Pass up to Rich. Cut down power. Try. They're going to go there to try. Is it a double movement? No, he was free. He was broken. We're going to go to the video. But I think you'll find this is a try. Well, they all race for the uh, for the man across. Talpo spotted it, goes himself, gets to the line, fires it up there to uh, Chad Lodge, and he, oh, the, uh, the ankle was still there. Did he have a hold of him? Kyle Lodge, the man who scored the try in extra time last week, has he done it again? He had a hold, but can you break free of that? He was down. I, I tell you what, this could be a no try. He had a, the only time he broke free was when he lurched forward. Let's have a look. If you've got a hand on him... I think he broke, David. I think he was clear of the tackle. He wrapped his uh, arm around his ankle again while he was still on the ground. He didn't have control of him, mate. He didn't have control of him. Oh, here we go. Here comes a huge call from the video referee. It's going to be a try. There's the grand final, surely, to South Logan. In the 79th minute of the game. Wild celebrations for the Magpies. They've waited a long time. 1985, the last time the Magpies won. What a fantastic performance. What a fantastic game of rugby league. Well, what an incredible game of rugby league. The crowd are on the field. South Logan fans have streamed onto the field as 
the kick being lined up by Josh White. They don't need it, of course. And White is out of the extras. The icing's on the cake. But South Slogan have won the 2008 Grand Final, the Magpies. They led 18 to nil at half-time. All of a sudden, it was 18 all by the 60th minute as if Twitch came back. But in the very last minute of the game, Kyle Lodge has stolen the try that has won the Magpies their first grand final since 1985 and their first in the Queensland Cup, certainly. And I have with me one of the happiest men in uh, Ipswich at the moment, Jimmy McClellan, president of South. Jim, how's it feel, pal? It's been a long time. the happiest man in Ipswich, Roddy. I mean, we go back a long way. You were with us back in 96 at our last one, and uh, it's been a long time coming, mate, and it's just absolutely sensational. You know, a group of young kids who started at the start of the year. We had a lot of Raiders. Yep. We ended up with one Raider, and the boys still did the job. And I think it's just a sensational, mate. You just don't feel this good. Mate, it must be great for you because it's been a long time between drinks. And you've been, you've been trying to hang South in there for a long, long time. Yeah. And now you're fighting back with the South Logan uh, Magpies and with the Raiders. Mate, we've been in the doldrums for a long time. We could have rolled the white flag up five years ago through Cavalier Corporation and the Raiders. They stuck behind us. We all stuck strong. We just keep digging deep, and uh, today's the end result. Mate, underdogs as well you went in. You led 18-0 at half-time. What was the feeling then? I think at half-time, Paul just said what coaches always say, you know, just complete your sets. Go out there. It's a new game, new half, and let's just get in an arm wrestle with them and win the game. So, um, yeah. Did you, like did you think it would take the last 30 Pretty seconds to win it, though, mate? Mate, I'll tell you what, last week and this week, I'm 52. I think I'm... A, I'm in a heart attack territory, Roddy. Now tell me your wife, Barb's got a 50th birthday today, mate. Is that right? 50 today, mate, and she's going to hang the boots up. So we might be able to pull her out of the mothballs again next year. We'll see how we go. Mate, I know you had a big reunion uh, this year for your 100-year uh, reunion, and uh, I know there's a lot of passion spoken there. The likes of Greg Beavers and Bruce Astle, they'd be feeling pretty good today as well. I think Greg's watching on TV, couldn't get here, but I know Bruce and Greg and all the boys will just be so happy, you know, like, takes us back to 85, you know, the last time we won it, so. All right, mate, fantastic work. I know you, no one's worked harder than you, Jim. Well done, pal. Thanks very much, Roddy, and thanks to the ABC for their coverage all year. Thanks, sure, mate. Well, let's have a great time, pal. Have a great time. 2008 Queensland Wizard Cup going to the way of the South Slogan Magpies in dramatic circumstances. South Slogan 24, defeating Ipswich 18. Tries for Ipswich to Ryan Malone and Sweeney. Josh Lewis kicked three from three, but missed with a couple of field goal attempts in the last few minutes. And on the other hand, South Slogan, well, they scored that very valuable four tries after leading 18-0 to win it in the 80th minute of the game. Congratulations to South Slogan. The crowd was buzzing. It was huge. Well, there's, there's so many Magpie fans out there. The course of the tradition has been the whole generations of, of supporters support the Magpies. The support was fantastic, you know, and people with their signs, and you know, there was guys that I'd never ever seen before with, you know, face paint on and screaming out Magpies. few things happened during the semi-finals that, um, that that sort of pointed to, to, to destiny, you know, that, that this was meant to happen and, and I think a couple of things happened during the game that, that showed that this was meant to happen, that we were, we were meant to win the grand final. And... Didn't have control of him. Oh, here we go, here comes a huge call. It's going to be a try. There's the grand final shot for South Slogan. The last time we actually won a grand final, my father took me to that grand final. 23 years later, my father and I are at that game and, and I've taken my son. And he had the honour of, of leading the team out as well. There was a lot of tears. There was a lot of laughter. You know, there was a lot of fun and, and you know, growing and cry all the time. South Magpies being one of the inaugural clubs in, in rugby league in Queensland, actually taken out the 100 year grand final too, it's, it's symbolic and um, it's something the club deserves.
it was just a special moment and uh, it, it's something that anybody who's a, a part of it or gets the chance to be a part of, you just don't forget it.